Okay, YouTube Nation or anybody, are we missing anybody today? I don't think so. I think we're good, huh? Okay, so on Friday, we covered vertical parabolas. We we're going to finish up parabolas today. Friday was a short day, right? So we got through half of it. Uh, here's the other half. A horizontal parabola has this equation. X is equal to A times Y minus K on A squared plus H. I'm going to write the other one up here for people who may be gone that day or haven't gotten the notes yet. What changes about the equation from horizontal to vertical? What's different? Okay, interesting. Yeah, here you got the H is with the X, and, and then here you got the K with the Y, and the X and Y switch spots. And that's really interesting. It turns out that in this case, the vertex was HK. In this case, the vertex is HK as well. I always think of K as being paired with the Y value. Okay, that's how we keep that straight. So let's draw the graph and try to fill in the rest of the pieces and see if you can be analytical about this thinking here, um, as I know that this is a little challenging to think about and get through. But I have a horizontal parabola, and I'm going to draw it just like so. That's our general form for the equation, and we are going to call this vertex spot here HK. Sweet. Somebody tell me something about the direction of opening. To the right. So suppose that A was positive or A was negative. How would that change the direction of opening? Okay, so if A was positive, it would open to the right. And if A was negative, it would open to the left. You are correct. So smart. Now let's talk about the axis of symmetry. Will the axis of symmetry be horizontal or vertical? Horizontal, that's going to divide it in half. So I have a horizontal line going through this guy. Sweet. Horizontal lines, huh? Is that an X equals equation or a Y equals equation? Yeah, it's a Y equals equation. So my axis of symmetry is Y equals, and it's going to assume the Y value of that vertex, or Y equals K. And again, you guys, I, I know that we have letters for all this. It really... You know, it struggles to make sense. We're just looking at it from an analytical standpoint, then we're going to apply it to those three problems when we get going. Okay, focus, directrix, and length of the lattice rectum. Yeah. So what value do we have to find in order to determine those three? P. How do we find P? A equals 1 over 4P. Very good. So the focus sits on the inside. And how many units from the vertex does it sit? P units. So once we find P, we can then find our focus. As I move the focus from the vertex, is that going to change the X value or the Y value? The X value. So the location for the focus happens to be H plus P and then the K value. The directrix, is the directrix a point or a line? It's a line, and it's going to be how many units on the outside? Very good, Emma. Emma, you are so smart. So we have this uh, directrix guy going on right there. I like that. Uh, vertical line or horizontal? So is it going to be X equals or Y equals? X equals. And it looks like it's going to run through H minus P instead of H plus P. What is the lattice rectum? Again, the word rectum means segment, which makes sense to us biologically, does it not? Yes, Mr. Jones. Thank you very much. Sir. That's the length of the lattice rectum right there. It's the absolute value of 4P. Very good. Let's try a couple of these problems. True or false? You get notes on the next test. True. True or false? I put them together for you. That's false. You put together your own. You may have no examples. You can only have the notes. So some people do actually cut out that sheet, which I just uh, uh, you know made for you on the front, and use that. And that's that's fine if you want to piece those things together. So here we go. Let's apply our learning. 2x is equal to y squared. You tell me, is this going to be a horizontal parabola or a vertical parabola? Which is it, horizontal or vertical? Tell me why you would think one or the other. 
Y squared, very good. What is being squared? Here are the Y is being squared, so that makes it horizontal. Here are the X is being squared, that makes it vertical. So if I divide by 2, I get X is equal to 1 over 2 Y squared. So we're going to talk about the direction. We're going to talk about the vertex. We're going to talk about the axis of symmetry. What are the other three things that we have to label? The focus, directrix, I like to go DX for directrix because I'm lazy. The LLR, the length of the lattice rectum, very good. Sweet, you guys are smart, good thing. This is difficult stuff. Direction, you told me horizontal, is it going to open the right or left? Why? Very good. Yeah, he is so smart. Let's look back at this one right here. Do you remember what the vertex was here? Negative 2, positive 3. So what's going to be the vertex here? Close. Close. The 1, care, careful. Let, let, let's, we're, we're thinking about the 1 half. The 1 half is kind of... It, it's taken the same place as the 1 eighth. Does the 1 eighth change the vertex? No, the vertex was negative 2, 3. 1 eighth doesn't, doesn't change at all. 0, 0. Yep, at the origin. Very good. So I plot that 0, 0 guy right here. Cool. And now I'm going to draw that axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry going to go up and down or side to side? Side to side. And... Let's name it. What do you name that? Okay. All right. So, so exactly. Last hour, Lexi Zach, believe it or not, uh, we asked her to name the line. She named it Bill. And uh, so I, I've been teaching for many years this lesson, and I, 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 I've never gotten Larry or Bill before. I appreciate you guys saying that. Um, so normally, believe it or not, I get Y equals zero. I don't know why people go to that, but it's nor normally what I get. So. <laughs> but we'll we'll uh we'll yeah we'll <coughs> we'll go y equals zero. We'll put a little Larry label there. All right, very good. All right. Before I move forward to these next three, there's there's something I need to find that I do not yet know. I need to find p. And what is the equation for p? A is equal to what is my a value? 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 4p. So a is the value, the constant that sits in front of what's being squared. So in this case, uh, a was equal to 1 eighth. In this case, a is 1 half. So, yep, we're just going to cross multiply. So we get 4p is equal to 2. And we're going to divide by 4 to get p is equal to a half. What does that mean? What what does it mean that p is a half? Yeah, I'm going to move a half of a unit. So here's where you need to start to think about how big you're going to make your mark. So should we make a 10 by 10 graph if we're only going to move a half a unit in each direction? No. I Great job. We're going to we're going to go 2 by 2 here. You guys are very complimentary. Yep, got to get through. All right, so how do I how do I actually get to the focus then? What are where am I going? Half a unit to the right, towards the direction of opening. Let's give a coordinate. Okay. Do you guys notice that? I'm not generating all this information right away that I'm doing the graph as I do this. You guys, I think that that's the best way to go about it. So many people try to get the whole thing down and then they make the graph. I think you're much more likely to make a mistake. Okay? So now I move towards the directrix. What do I do there? Go back a half a unit. Okay, is the directrix a point or a line? It's a line. 
X equals negative one half. Length of the lattice rectum. What? Close. Two. Yeah, why? <laughs> no? Yeah, you just multiply it by four and take the absolute value. So uh, one half times four is two, and then the absolute value is two. Very good. So what that means, and a lot of people don't know how to use this, but you know, we know that this is the vertex. The question is, how wide do we make this parabola? Well, the lattice rectum tells us exactly how wide to make it. We move up a unit and down a unit. So up one and down one makes a total value of two. So that's the length of the lattice rectum. And so that's going to tell me how wide to make this. It's the same process by which they make satellites. You know, that is that shape. And so... So there's my, there's my parabola, and now we're going to check to see if I have a perfect parabola or not. So the perfect parabola says that the distance, whoop, that if you take a point on that parabola and look at the distance to the directrix, and then the distance to the focus, they must be the same. What do you think? Let's check. I'm not I'm not really even close, am I? <laughs> yeah. Failure. Yep, failure is an event, not a person, right? It's a Monday. Okay. I'll try again. I this is uh you know, so I've this is the third time I've taught this class today and I've I've yet to get one right on. But every other year I've taught, I've been able to get at least one right on. So I've got two more chances, otherwise I'll definitely be off my game for the day. Okay. All right. Very good. Here we go. Yep. We got two more. Parabolas reminds me of my vacation this summer. Anybody know where I'm going? Hint. Parabola. <laughs> St. Louis. We're going to go to St. Louis, see the arch. Apparently, they have a really good zoo there and barbecue. And then we're going to go over to, you know this, okay. And then, then we're going to go to uh, Nashville. And then we're going to go to Smoky Mountains National Park. Then we're going to go to Charleston, South Carolina, and stay on the beach and uh, enjoy that. And head home. So you may not. Yes. Oh, yeah, after state, without a doubt. Yep. 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 All right. Let's look at a little bit, uh, a little bit more difficult than an example. Four uh, x squared plus seven y is equal to zero. Can you determine whether or not this is going to be vertical or horizontal? Very good. It's going to be vertical because the x is squared. So I'm going to put it in an appropriate form. I'm going to say that seven y is equal to negative four x squared. I'm going to divide both sides by 7. Y is equal to negative 4 over 7 x squared. So now I have my A value out front, and I can now determine the direction of opening. So which direction does it open? Down. Vertex. 0, 0. I have my uh, graph set up. I'm going to plot 0, 0. Axis of symmetry. Up and down. Give me an equation for it. X equals 0. Very good. Great. I've got a good start. Now, what are my three other things? Focus. Directrix, length of the lattice rectum. What do I need in order to find those three things? P. I have an equation for that. A is equal to 1 over 4P. What is my A value? Negative 4 over 7 equals 1 over 4P. 
cross multiply negative 16 P is equal to 7 divide by negative 16 P is negative 7 16 okay so automatically we develop anxiety just because we see a fraction okay I get it okay it's like a wrench 7 16 so I used one yesterday okay so it's a good thing so so 7 sixteenths, uh, it's, it, you guys agree it's about a half? It's about a half. So if you think about that, if it's about a half of a unit, okay, then, um, you know, we're going to go with Ashley's graph of a 2 by 2. That should be enough, right? Okay. So we're going to do Ashley's 2 by 2. Whoop. Guys, I want to be clear. As you're making these graphs and stuff, I, I just remember, I don't expect perfection, but you are trying to communicate to me on the test what you're doing. So being able to read it, you might say, well, I just write small, Mr. Gens. Well, that's fine. As long as I can read it, it's, it's important that I can understand what you're doing. Y your job is to communicate to me that piece, and I'll do my very best to figure it out. I'm usually pretty good at it, but try to try to work with me, okay? All right, so negative 7 sixteenths. So that's going to be a little bit less than half. And I chose to go down. Why? Yep, the p-value is negative, and that's the direction of opening. Okay, so what is the coordinate for the focus then? Good, 0, negative 7 sixteenths. The directrix, what do I do now? Okay, up 7 sixteenths. Good job. Okay, and this is where things fell apart for all the other classes. The length of the lattice rectum. Absolute value of 4 over 1 times negative 7 over 16. Let's just... Everybody agree we're at uh, negative 7 fourths? So absolute value would be 7 fourths. Very good. So the length of the lattice rectum is 7 fourths. Now, what? 1 and 3 quarters if you're baking. Yep. But we're not. So we're going to take that 7 fourths, and, and we're going to, as a decimal, 1.75. But we're going to divide it in half so we can find out how far we move in each direction. What's 7 fourths divided by 2? What's one half of seven fourths? Seven eighths. So not an entire unit, seven eighths of a unit in each direction. And that is a total distance then of seven fourths. I am then going to draw my parabola through those endpoints. And I'm going to check to see how perfect of a parabola I have. What do you guys think? Am I on the on the right track? Well, <laughs> I already know how Maya feels, so I guess. It's not perfect. <laughs> Oh, well. Ready for the last one? Okay. This last one. Uh, change the 1 to a 12. Uh, when I was doing the notes, I, I missed the 2 key. We, we, we want to make sure that there's a, a 12 there, not a 1. So what do you think, horizontal or vertical? Very good. Y is being squared. It is horizontal. I will subtract the 12. I get 12x is equal to y minus 2 quantity squared minus 12. Now what should I do to both sides? Divide by 12. Instead of writing the y minus 2 squared over 12, how else could I write it? Very good. 1 12th times. 
So now that is the form of my equation that I'm going to put on this graph. I have the direction. I have the vertex. I have the axis to symmetry. The focus. The directrix. And the length of the lattice rectum. Which direction? How come? Because it's positive, okay? Vertex. The answer is not 2, negative 1. You're in the ballpark. It's not 2, 1. It's not 1, 2. It's not 1, negative 2. Here's where you got to focus, everybody. Here, you, you got, you're, you're focusing on the right spots, okay? You know that you have this, and this is going to determine your vertex, correct? This is paired with the y value. So what do you think is the y coordinate of your vertex? 2. Negative 1, 2. Okay, focus on what's being squared here. Since the y is being squared, this is going to determine the y value of your vertex. Just like up here, you said, well, my x value is going to be negative 2, and then the other one's 3. So that pairs with x. See that? So in this situation, the y, uh, you're going to say, well, the y value is 2. The other one's negative 1. We all good there? One of the biggest mistakes made on the assignment and the test. So I'll make sure we're all clarified there. Okay, let's plot this guy. We're going to make a, a, an 8x8 eight eight graph. I'm going to go 2, 4, 6, 8. Dr. Bijak, any um, traveling plans for you this summer? Really? Maybe we could... Hang out. Had an ancient studies major when I was in college. Not really. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is his nice way of saying that he doesn't really want to hang out with me. That more. <laughs> We actually uh, share some some things in common with our, our music uh, enjoyment. So very much classic rock, uh, 80s rock and blues fans. So anyway. All right. Yes, we both have an excellent haircut. All right. Negative 1, positive 2. This is my vertex. Which direction will the axis of symmetry go? Horizontal, very good. And to the left. So can somebody describe that equation for me then? Y equals 2. What value do I have yet to find? P. 1 over 12 equals 1 over 4P. The P value. Three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move three units, which direction, to the right, and that will locate me here for the focus. What is that location? Two, two. Does everybody see it's a heck of a lot easier to plot it and then name it as opposed to come up with the coordinate and then plot it? Hey, some people fight me on that. If you want to, go ahead. I'll give in. You can do whatever you want. I just think that that's a lot easier. All right, direction. So I go three units in the other direction. I draw it, and then I describe it. Anybody? Yep, x equals negative 4. Good. Length of the lattice rectum.
12. Absolute value of 4p, p was 3. So if it's 12 units in length, how far do I go on each side? Six units on each side. So I'm at 2, so I'm going to go 6 units up to 8. I move 6 units down to negative 4. There's the segment that tells me how wide to make my parabola. You think I got it? Worked really hard at this. All right. Grab a point. Draw it in right there. Stop it, Logan. Oh, man. Okay, so here's what I think was wrong with my methodology this year. Every time I was drawing stuff, I stand off to the side. In other years, I do stand directly in front sometimes to try to. I think I, I think I kind of get swayed in my axes and everything. So, but oh well, I, I tried. Get get some cheaters. It helps. I'm, I'm just about there at that age. So, all right, parabolas. Can we do it? You can do it. Joining us.